What is up, YouTube Adventure family? It is a beautiful day here between the ski resorts in the middle of Colorado. We're gonna take the 2024 Rave Bullet X e-bike, 750 watts, 48 volts, 13 amp hour battery on the Whiskey Hill Challenge. We are gonna go up high and let's see what the Rave Bullet X e-bike can do. So we're going to take this e-bike up Whiskey Hill and see what it could do. I've got the 48 volt original controller plugged in for a little bit just to see what the stock bike can do on the hill climb. So this challenge is not usually that kind to e-bikes, honestly. I'm just gonna be straight up usually not that good of a, a thing for like a 48 volt e-bike but we're gonna find out what it could do now here we go it is beautiful we finally got a little break in the weather here between freaking snowstorms and blizzards and I figured we could go ahead and try the Whiskey Hill Challenge. And it looks like it made it up pretty much that hardest part there. That's really, you have to have a little momentum, of course, to get up it, but we're throttle only right now. We're gonna see, we're holding like about at 19 miles an hour. I guess I could hit the start on that. So we look like we're holding up between 18, 19 miles an hour. So that's holding pretty steady. It really draws that battery pretty hardcore though. Just because it's just all torque and it's making it. So not too bad, I have not pedaled yet. There is one part up here that even on the juice strip racer, I pedaled a little bit. But far as going up this steep hill so far, I'm pretty impressed. And we're using the 750 watt 2024 Bullet X today on the Whiskey Hill Challenge. Which is making it even a lot more fun. Mm, all right. We're winding up this way. And again, we got the thumb throttle on here. We're at a 48 volt e-bike. I believe the newt meters is 75 unlocked and 80, or 75 if you haven't unlocked it, and then 80 after you unlock it. Let off the throttle a little bit here as we come around the corner. Make sure everything is safe, and here we go. All right. Yeah, it's really not much of a problem, so I'm pretty impressed. I haven't used the pedals yet. It's a pretty steep climb here. Usually on a 48 volt e-bike, this challenge is not usually too friendly. And on this bike, it seems like as long as we have momentum, as we approach the hill, we are okay. So not too shabby. Uh, the other part of this challenge is not only going up Whiskey Hill, it's beautiful up here. The other challenge to this is coming down the freaking hill because it will really put, I mean, you can see how far we've made it up here already. It will put a toll on those brakes. I mean, for real. I mean, there's still ice and snow up here. I mean, it's quite a, uh, a climb in elevation pretty quick. It is windy, so it's not too crazy steep, but that, that climb is really takes its toll on an e-bike and this seemed to be up for the challenge today, so that's super good as we have made it. Mm, nice. Nice, Rave. Nice, nice, nice. Here, let's pull over and let's talk about the climb for a second. Because, I mean, we... <laughs> oh, we made a climb. Ugh. The only other bike that I've really documented on the YouTube channel doing this was the Juice Rip Racer and it made it up at pretty fine. But that was a 52 
Volt e-bike. Look at that view. As you can see, we came Might be kind of hard to see, but we came from all the way down there, like down there, winding up this road. So it's quite a steep and long uphill climb. It's kind of crazy, isn't that house beautiful? Oh, the Whiskey Hill Challenge, the Rave Bullet X, 750 watt, 48 volt, 13 amp e bike. Oh, now, I have done some of the upgrades. You know, I did put the original controller back on. We just used the 48 volt battery to do this so we could see what stock does. I will be putting my controller back on, by the way. The bigger controller, the 30 amp controller versus this 25 amp controller. But this bike right here, just using the 48 volt, you can see that's what I was using. You can see it lights up, that's what I was using. Uh, it really worked really, really well. I was kind of surprised really. I did have a little bit of momentum as I was approaching the hill, which I'd advise you to do anyway. Uh, and I didn't pedal at all. And we made it all the way up Whiskey Hill. This is a beautiful area. This is a hiking area. A lot of people come up here, they do hiking, they do snowshoeing. They even do like cross country skiing. And you can see the trailhead goes down through there. Currently, we have moose problems and we have mountain lions hanging out and visiting and stuff. I'm trying to make it down this icy hill without busting my ass. As you can see, they have recently posted the mountain lion warning. There's actually a kill down here that I know of. It's, it's an elk and um, it's a mountain lion kill because they're feeding on it, you could tell. And it's a little ways down there. Uh, we're going to leave that area alone. One of the biggest threats right now we have is the moose hanging out near the golf course with dogs and people in residences, and it's a pretty aggressive bull moose. So that's why we're over here avoiding that. Along with the wolf release, hopefully the bears are still hibernating. It's literally mutual of Omaha if you know anything about that. I call Colorado the Australia of the United States. They're are a lot of apex predators here and it's no joke all right so next up we are going to take this two piston hydraulic double brake system down whiskey hill on 160 millimeter rotors which i would always say on the front any e-bike should have 180 millimeter rotors at 750 watts i understand 160 on the back absolutely 180 on the front if it was me i'd have 203 on the front 180 on the back four piston hydraulic brakes on the front two piston hydraulic brakes on the back that's just me whatever it don't even matter what i think all right so we're going to go down here we're going to test out these brakes and conclude the second part hello the second part of the Whiskey Hill Challenge. These homes up here are just gorgeous. I work on a couple of these homes. I got a couple of friends that work in the valley that live up here too in these beautiful, gorgeous homes. Let's try to avoid the ice going downhill at all costs. This is the other part of Colorado. It's like apex predators, animals. There's elk herds going through everywhere. I mean, there's, this, there's shit going on. It's Colorado. skedaddle through here and get past the little ice area all right so on these brakes these are the original brakes with the exception on the rear brakes I have put um, just some new brake pads that I use on my e-bikes I had them sitting around I just had a pair that's why I've got one pair on the back and not a pair on the front and the back but just on the back I've got some new brake pads they come with like these copper pads and they're good but they do kind of squeak on these e-boxes that come out of the factory uh, it's, it's probably a just a cheaper brake pad in my opinion but anyways yeah i'm really enjoying the way this bike handles we're about to go to the steeper part of the road here to see how this brake system actually holds up and we'll use like a i do use front and back brakes 
I try to use them kind of evenly, period, anyway, just because that's just the best way the brakes are used. But the front brakes are exceptionally important on a bike, whether it be a motorcycle or an e-bike. Uh, bicycles, probably just not as much because just the weight factor, there's no torque, there's no, you know, that would just be kind of depending if you're racing or something. Let's try not to eat shit on these little ice patches as we come down. So far, super impressed. If you do have an e-bike and you're going downhill and you've got like the hydraulic two piston each brake setup, definitely use both brakes. If you have like, you know, bigger brakes, four piston setups on some of the bigger e-bikes or higher end e-bikes, you could probably get by with using a little less on the front, more on the rear, coming down bigger hills. I tend to like to use my front brake actually, but you can tell it's squeaky. That's the copper one it comes with. And then this is the one that I buy on eBay. I will leave the link below of the brake pads I use on the Bullet X and any of my e-bikes just because it works. The Whiskey Hill Challenge. Oh, nice. I'm gonna wrap this one up with a little review. The moose is currently located like right over there. I do follow the Eagle Vale community page on Facebook and that's kind of how and why and all that shit that I know all that. Mm, we'll pull in here and kind of give you an idea of where we just came from. This is the community garden. Uh, I've done some woodwork in there for my friend Mary. That was fun. So we came down the hill going like 28. Some of the stats on the thing, 12 miles per hour was average. And we went like two miles, basically a mile up and a mile down. Uh, look at that. We basically just took the 2024 Brave Bullet X, 750 watt, 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery e-bike, all the way up Whiskey Hill, throttle only, no pedals at all. On a 48 volt e-bike, it's pretty good. Now this e-bike comes in at 75 newton meters of torque, locked, and I think it's right around 79, 80 newton meters of torque when you unlock it. So it's not a lot, so I did have a rolling kind of start, but once you start going up the hill, you're going up the hill. I mean, that's just the way that is. And it did very, very well. I'm super impressed, not only on the way that the Ray Bullet X went up the hill, but I am even more impressed how this e-bike made it down the hill with those two piston hydraulic brakes, even only being 160 millimeters. The brakes worked fine on the Whiskey Hill Challenge. Uh, the 2024 Rave Bullet X Whiskey Hill Challenge, it passed with absolute flying colors. Saying that, I can't wait to get the bigger controller, the 30 amp controller back on this bad boy so I could get my torque back and play around. I just wanted to show you what it does stock and it gets an A plus. 48 volt e-bike going up Whiskey Hill. That is no joke. We went all the way up there, winding around, all the way up there. No joke. What a great e-bike. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from the Colorado Adventure Channel. Until our next adventure. Peace.